Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the experiments which are in the lesson chemical reactions and its equations. And also we discuss about frequently asked questions from this chapter related to the experiments. Let's start. Activity 1 burning of magnesium ribbon. So when we burn the magnesium ribbon what we will observe means magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling white light and changes into white powder. The white powder is called magnesium oxide. So magnesium react with atmospheric oxygen while it burning. It produces magnesium oxide. The color of the magnesium oxide is white color and the light also white color. So conclusion, magnesium oxide is formed by the reaction of magnesium with oxygen present in the air. Equation 2mg plus O2 gives 2mgO. So this reaction is what type of reaction means combination reaction. Why? Because magnesium is an element and oxygen also is an element. Two elements combine together to form a compound. So this reaction comes under combination reaction. Here there are some frequently asked questions available. Let's discuss. The first question is why magnesium ribbon is clean before burning? It has to be clean. Why? Because when magnesium ribbon remains in the air it gets covered with the layer of magnesium oxide so this layer should be removed before burning so the atmospheric oxygen react with magnesium and it forms magnesium oxide around the ribbon so before burning the magnesium ribbon we have to rub and remove the magnesium oxide which, which is formed around it second question Give the chemical name of the powder obtained. The powder name is magnesium oxide. The chemical formula is MgO. Write the chemical reaction when magnesium burns. So magnesium react with atmospheric ox oxygen. It forms magnesium oxide. Mg is the chemical formula for magnesium. O2 is the chemical formula for oxygen. So Mg plus O2 gives MgO that is magnesium oxide. Fourth question, what is the color of the powder obtained in the reaction? Here the white color powder obtained in this reaction. Fifth question, what color of the flame which is produced in this reaction? The color of the flame also white color. So the color obtained as the end product light and powder the color is white color both flame as well as powder also white color. Sixth question what type of reaction takes place here? Here combination reaction takes place why because magnesium combined with oxygen to form the end product that end product is one so combination reaction takes place here reaction of lead nitrate with potassium iodide solution so when we mix the lead nitrate with potassium iodide what is the observation here on mixing two solution of lead nitrate with potassium iodide the yellow color precipitate of lead iodide is formed conclusion on mixing lead nitrate and potassium iodide the yellow color precipitate of lead iodide is obtained so the chemical formula is pbno3 whole twice plus 2ki gives pbi2 plus 2kno3 frequently asked questions are as follows first question give the chemical name of the precipitate formed during this activity the answer is lead iodide chemical formula is pbi2 what is a precipitate a precipitate is an insoluble substance formed during a chemical reaction so it is an insoluble substance it does not dissolve in any water or any other solution uh, solvent so precipitate is a insoluble substance formed during the chemical reaction so it is a salt substance what is a precipitation reaction 
the reaction in which an insoluble substance is formed is called as precipitate and the reaction is called as precipitation reaction fourth question what type of reaction takes place here double displacement reaction so double dis displacement reaction takes place in this activity next question what color of precipitate obtained in this reaction the precipitate color is yellow in color so the precipitate name is lead iodide the lead iodide color is yellow reaction of zinc granules with sulfuric acid zinc is a metal sulfuric acid is a acid so here which reaction takes place acid react with metals so what is the observation and conclusion of this experiment means hydrogen gas is produced and the conical flask gets hot due to the action of dilute sulfuric acid when we add the zinc granules with sulfuric acid it forms hydrogen hydrogen is a gas it produced hydrogen gas how can we understand whether the hydrogen gas is produced means the conical flask gets hot due to the action of dilute hydrochloric acid with zinc so the presence of hydrogen gas can be observed in the form of bubbles so chemical reaction is zn plus h2so4 gives znso4 plus h2 So what are the frequently asked question based on this experiment first question name the gas that evolved when an acid react with the metal so any acid it may be any acid acid react with any metal it forms hydrogen gas second question give the names of formulas of any two acids hydrochloric acid the chemical formula is hcl sulfuric acid the chemical formula is h2so4 next question which chemical reaction takes place when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid here displacement reaction takes place why because zinc is a an element and sulfuric acid is a compound so here element displaces the compound so the, which reaction takes place here displacement reaction fourth question name the chemical substance that is formed during the reaction of zinc and sulfuric acid the end product of that substance is zinc sulfate it is a salt substance next reaction reaction of calcium oxide and water so when we add the calcium oxide with water what is the observation and conclusion of the experiment calcium oxide and water combine vigorously to produce slaked lime that means calcium hydroxide it releases releasing with a large amount of heat this reaction highly vigorous in nature it is accomplished by a hissing noise bubbles and calcium hydroxide is formed the calcium hydroxide is formed with hissing noise and bubbles when the reaction forms bubbles there is heat produced this reaction is an example of exothermic reaction why because the heat is evolved so this is exothermic reaction so cao calcium oxide react with water h2o gives caoh twice it is slaked lime calcium hydroxide is formed by the combination of calcium oxide and water so this reaction is an example of combination reaction so what are the frequently asked questions here based on this experiment means first question what is the other name of calcium hydroxide the other name of calcium hydroxide is slaked lime what is the other name of calcium oxide the other name of calcium oxide is quick lime third question what are the changes observed during this reaction the calcium hydroxide is formed by hissing noise bubble formation with a lot of heat fourth question what is the color of calcium oxide so the color of calcium oxide is white or gray white it is a solid substance so solid in the form of hard lumps 
next reaction reaction of heating ferrous sulfate so this diagram indicates heating ferrous sulfate so when we heat the ferrous sulfate what are the observation and conclusions here ferrous sulfate crystals lose water when heated and the color of crystals changes ferrous sulfate crystals are green in color so what is the color of ferrous sulfate the ferrous sulfate crystals are green in color and have seven molecules of crystalline water so when we heat this ferrous sulfate the water molecules will be evaporated so the chemical formula is feso4 dot 7h2o gives feso4 plus 7h2o the water molecules evaporated and forms gas conclusion when ferrous sulfate further decomposes it gives reddish brown residue of ferric so it forms the green color substance changes into reddish brown color residue that is ferric ferric oxide and fumes of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide evolves so what is the color of ferric oxide that is reddish brown color 2 feso4 gives fe 2 o 3 plus so2 plus so3 sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide this reaction is example of decomposition reaction heat thermal decomposition why because when we heat the substance decomposed into many substances so this reaction is an example of thermal decomposition the frequently asked questions first question what is the color of ferrous sulfate crystals answer is ferrous sulfate crystals are green in color second question how many water molecules are present in one molecule of ferrous sulfate seven water molecules answer is seven water molecules third question which gases evolve when ferrous sulfate is heated sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases are produced when we heat the ferrous sulfate fourth question name the chemical reaction involved in heating ferrous sulfate thermal decomposition reaction fifth question name the substance remains in the test tube as residue the answer is ferric oxide what is the color of this ferric ferric oxide that is reddish brown in color next reaction of heating lead nitrate observation on heating lead nitrate reddish brown fumes will pungent smell are evolved and a yellow residue remains in the test tube conclusion on the decomposition of lead nitrate when we heat the lead, lead nitrate here decomposition process takes place so on the decomposition of lead nitrate nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas are evolved 2 pbno3 whole twice gives 2 pbo plus 4 no2 plus 4 o2 so lead nitrate produces lead oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen molecule this is an example of decomposition reaction frequently asked questions based on this experiment first question write the chemical formula of lead nitrate the chemical formula of lead nitrate is pbno3 whole twice second question of which color do fumes evolve when lead nitrate is heated in the boiling tube brown color fumes formed when we heat the lead nitrate so the color is reddish brown fumes third question what is the color of the residue that remains in the boiling tube in the given activity the answer is yellow color residue so the yellow color residue is lead oxide fourth question name the reaction that takes place in this activity the answer is thermal decomposition reaction fifth question name the substance left as a residue in the boiling tube the answer is lead oxide the chemical formula is pbo next activity electrolysis of water so what is the observation here bubbles of gases appear 
above the electrodes in both the test tubes conclusion the bubbles produced by the passing current are hydrogen and oxygen gases which are formed by the decomposition of water on passing electro electric current so when we pass the electric current into the water the water molecule decomposed into two elements such as hydrogen and oxygen the volume of hydrogen collected will be twice the volume of oxygen the frequently questions are first question which acid has been used in this activity sulfuric acid second question name the reaction that takes place in this activity this is electrolysis process here decomposition reaction takes place third question name the gases produced in the test tube hydrogen and oxygen the volume of hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1 fourth question which gas is present in the test tube in a large amount that is hydrogen gas next activity silver chloride kept at sunlight so what will happen if we keep the sil silver chloride at the sunlight observation here when silver chloride is placed in the sunlight the color of silver chloride changes conclusion here which reaction takes place means decomposition reaction on the decomposition of silver chloride which is white white in color it changes to gray so the color of silver chloride is white color when we kept under the sunlight the white color changes into gray color so here chemical equation as follows 2 AgCl AgCl is silver chloride when we keep under the sunlight in the presence of sunlight it produces silver and chlorine gas so silver color is gray color silver chloride decomposes into silver and chloride chlorine so the thermal decomposition reaction takes place in the presence of sunlight so this reaction is called as photolysis frequently asked questions first question what is the color of silver chloride that is white color silver chloride is a white powder second question name the reaction that takes place in this activity photolysis so photolysis is a thermal decomposition process here sunlight is involved in the presence of light decomposition process takes place so this reaction is known as photolysis third question name the substance formed after the decomposition of silver chloride that is silver and chlorine these are the end products when we keep the silver chloride in the presence of sunlight fourth question write the definition of decomposition reaction so what do you mean by decomposition reaction complex substance breaks down into two or more simple substances in the presence of energy that energy it may be heat light or electricity so this reaction is known as decomposition reaction complex substance breaks down into two or more simple substances in the presence of energy the energy such as heat light and electricity this is known as decomposition reaction fifth question give the chemical equation of the reaction answer 2 agcl gives 2 ag plus cl2 reaction of sodium sulfate and barium chloride so if we combine sodium sulfate and barium chloride what will happen observation in this reaction it is observed that an insoluble white solid substance is formed conclusion the insoluble white substance formed is known as a precipitate so it is a salt substance the chemical form, uh, equation is na2so4 gives bacl2 Na2SO4 is the chemical formula of sodium sulfate and BaCl2 is the chemical formula of barium chloride. 
those two compounds react together to form barium sulfate and sodium chloride baso4 plus 2 nacl so the N sodium displaces with chlorine substance here those two compounds also displaced with each other this reaction is known as double displacement reaction and also it forms the precipitate salt so this is also known as precipitation reaction so when we combine sodium sulfate and barium chloride it forms barium sulfate and sodium chloride salt the frequently asked questions based on this experiment is first question what is the color of the sodium sulfate solution the sodium sulfate is white color what type of reaction takes place here here double displacement reaction takes place next activity reaction of ferrous and copper sulfate observation here the brown coating on the iron nail indicates that copper is deposited on the iron nail as result of iron displacement when we dip the iron nails in the copper sulfate solution what will what are the observations taken place here first one the around the iron nail the copper will be deposited second one the color of the blue color copper sulfate solution changes to green so the color of copper sulfate is blue color the color changes into pale green color third observation the greenish color of the solution in the test tube indicates the presence of fe2 plus ions in the solution why the color changes means the ion displaced with copper so the color changes takes place in this activity fourth observation this is a single displacement reaction in which copper is displaced by ion from copper sulfate solution resulting in the formation of a new compound ferrous sulfate fifth observation a chemical change occurs as a result of the reaction here chemical change taken place frequently asked questions based on this experiment first question what is the color of copper sulfate solution the color of the copper sulfate solution is shiny blue color second question why do iron nails become brown in color why because a layer of copper is coated over iron nails when deposited in a copper sulfate solution so copper is coated over the iron nails so the color changes taken place here third question what is the name of the substance formed ferrous sulfate so the blue color solution totally changes into uh, pale green color solution the new substance formed is ferrous sulfate the chemical formula of ferrous sulfate is feso4 fourth question write the definition of displacement re reaction so the reaction in which one atom or a group of atoms of one compound is displaced by an one atom or a group of atoms this is known as displacement reaction a element displaced with the compound substance is known as displacement reaction fifth question give the chemical equation of the reaction so what is the chemical equation here fe plus cuso4 gives FeSO4 plus Cu. This is the chemical equation of displacement reaction taken place here. Next activity: heating of copper powder. When we heat the copper, what will, what are the changes taken place here? First obs observation: on heating, a black coating is formed on the surface of copper. When we heat the copper around the copper powder, the black color coating will be there. the copper black color coating will be formed conclusion the surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide so what is that new substance black color substance means that is copper oxide so when we heat the copper the copper react with atmospheric oxygen it forms copper oxide this is because of oxidation of copper so here which type of reaction takes place means oxidation reaction 
copper react with oxygen it forms copper 2 oxide 2 cu plus o2 gives 2 cuo if we pass hydrogen gas over heated copper oxide the black coating on the surface turns brown as the reverse re reaction takes place and copper is obtained so if we pass the hydrogen gas in the copper 2 oxide the black color coating on the surface turns into brown color why because here reverse reaction takes place and the copper remains so what are the frequently asked questions based on this activity first question what is the color of copper powder the copper powder color is brown second question which new substance is formed when the copper powder is heated so when we heat the copper powder the black color copper oxide is formed third question write the chemical reaction of heating copper powder 2 cu plus o2 gives 2 cuo this is the chemical equation of heating copper powder fourth question name the reaction that takes place in the activity in this activity oxidation and combination reaction takes place here two substance combine together to form a new one substance so here combination reaction as well as here oxygen is oxidized with copper so oxidation and combination reaction both the reaction takes place here fifth question what do you mean by an oxidizing agent the substance the substance it may be element or atom the substance that oxidize the other substance and gets reduced itself is called an oxidizing agent sixth question what is an oxidation reaction the reaction in which a substance gains oxygen during the reaction is called as oxidation reaction okay the oxygen is gained in that particular reaction that chemical reaction is known as oxidation reaction so thanks for watching this video if you like this video subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends thank you